Good morning and happy Tuesday. It's actually Tuesday about 4.30 in the morning. We just got our fresh 70 clock back. Um, we're about to bobtail back to the Procter & Gamble where we drop our last load to pick up our empty. And then we're heading to Alabama to another Procter & Gamble to pick up our loaded trailer. And then we'll be heading towards uh, Maine. So I'm spec I'm expecting to be there around either Thursday evening or first thing Friday morning. I have an open window until Friday at midnight to deliver. So the sooner the better is my philosophy. That way I can get this load off me and find something else. That being said, I'll check back in with you uh, as the week progress and I get closer to Maine. So see you then. managed to pick up the load in Alabama at the Procter & Gamble. Uh, the GPS is said to take gate nine, but gate nine is only for live loads only. So what you end up having to do is having to um, drive down a little bit and it'll be on your left, it's a drop yard. I'll try to post a uh, picture if I can find one from Google Images or something like that and post it somewhere around there. That being said, we end up picking that up. Uh, then we end up uh, making it up here to the uh, Alabama, Georgia line. Um, care at a pilot, where we'll end up staying the night.
Thursday, Thursday night. Um, it is about 1030. Uh, Thursday night, we're about three hours away from our delivery to the Walmart location. That being said, we do have a second load to pick up right up the road, about 30 minutes away, 30 minutes away from a Procter and Gamble here in Maine. And we're going to deliver that in PA. Um, after that, uh, should be delivering sometime tomorrow evening. Biggest reason why I've been running nights, or mostly nights, early mornings, is parking up here is so minimal that if you do not start at night or early in the morning to finish your day early, then you're probably more than likely have a very hard time finding uh, a spot to park or having to park on an on-ramp or off-ramp like I've seen a lot of people do. And I just don't wanna do that. But that being said, uh, we'll get our day started and go ahead and deliver this and pick up our next load and then start looking for our third load uh, of the week. <laughs> in the morning uh, it is kind of chilly up here we end up uh, dropping off that load and I forgot to record on the way there to the other pickup so we just picked it up that's the trailer there we're about to head to Pennsylvania um, and should be there later this evening with it and hopefully find something before I get there but we'll see you on the next video also to those that are living up here in the northeast i hope y'all getting paid pretty well because my god stopping at these service uh, plazas and it's so expensive uh, i think yesterday i stopped at a mcdonald's and was going to order something but it was like 15 dollars plus tax for the combo which is insane but anyways i hope y'all making that up here because and I am not used to those prices and also diesel. Almost like $5, $4.89 is what I was looking at this morning. Uh, so it's insane. I just wanted to give you that update. Uh, I'll check in with y'all later as we continue to continue this journey. <laughs>
what is up guys just checking back in uh, i think last time i checked in we were in pa uh picking up a, or dropping off a loaded trailer at the png and picking up an empty heading to ohio so <clears throat> we actually managed to get here to ohio uh ended our day here uh, we're about two and a half hours three hours away from our pickup location um and then we heading back to pa to do a 34 because i'll have like seven or eight uh hours left on my 70 so we'll end up doing that that being said i'll check back in with you when i get to our pickup location <laughs> guys so we just got here to our de delivery location we are dropping off this load and picking it up pretty easy you check in uh, make sure your trailer is clean here at whirlpool so that being said just make sure it's clean then you'll go and drop off your empty pick up your loaded make sure your seal is intact and then you'll check out at the other guard so that being said, let me finish dropping this trailer and hooking up up to my next one. So we ended up making a pit stop here in uh, Ohio before we head to Pennsylvania. So we are here at the truck world. Uh, the main reason I stopped here was to get the truck washed. It hasn't been washed since probably since I've got the truck uh, three, four weeks ago. So that being said, I stopped out here at the Blue Beacon and take a look at this.
is actually Monday morning, around two o'clock in the morning. Finally got to our drop off location here. Uh, Tobihana, I believe it's how it's pronounced, PA. Anyways, um, on my way here into the uh, drop uh, location, it's a uh, NFI, but it's at Lowe's. But anyways, there's a side road that veers off to the left I ended up missing that, so I had to turn around and then <laughs> I had to uh, um, come back around in order to get to it. But anyways, just wanted to give a follow up. We're dropping the trailer off right now and then we're bob tailing to a pilot and that pilot actually has a Walmart across the street. So I'll get to replenish some of the stuff that you know I used during the week and some more food for myself. That being said, I'll check back in with you later on.